Hi, I'm Jennifer with Resilient Life Therapy. And today I'm gonna to hit you up with three things that can help you feel a whole lot less crazy when you're dealing with a narcissist. Obviously, this is a big topic, as I often say. And I go into a lot of detail in my guide, Surviving the Narcissist, um, into what narcissism is. That guide has a lot of essential information and really powerful exercises that, un that will help you understand what the heck is going on, why the narcissist does such crazy stuff, and to help you understand how you can navigate those dynamics in ways that will help you feel a whole lot calmer and less crazy. Um, so this is a pretty big topic, but today I just want to talk to you about sort of three really core concepts. And number one is something I talk about a lot, and that is radical acceptance. So radical acceptance essentially means getting very real about who the person is and what they are, right? And so that you are no longer having expectations <clears throat> that the person is not going to be something they can't or will not be willing to be. And a lot of people make the mistake with radical acceptance. They're like, well, radical acceptance, doesn't that mean I just have to accept the bad behavior? No. <laughs> radical acceptance means that you get really real about the fact that the bad behavior is not going to change. And then you make your decision based on that about what you want to do. And some people decide, oh, if this is what the relationship really is, if this is the reality, I'm out. You know, some people, for a lot of good reasons, decide that they are going to stay in relationship with a narcissist. They, they may not have an option or for whatever reasons it's important. And so radical acceptance, what that can buy you is to stop chasing, trying to make the relationship something that's never going to be. And instead, get, getting really real about how you interact with the person and the relationship with the reality of who they are. And I have other videos on my channel here where I talk about radical acceptance. It's a really core concept. All right, number two goes along with radical acceptance because first comes radical acceptance where you get really real. And number two is once you understand who and what the narcissist is, it becomes really important to stop trying to get things from the narcissist that you're never gonna get from them. Radical acceptance will inform you like you are never, they are never going to see the light. And one of the ways we make ourselves the craziest with narcissists is we keep trying to make them see the light. We keep trying to get justice from them, right? We keep trying to get something from them we're never gonna get. And so one of the, the, the really important things to help you feel calmer and less crazy and more grounded and more centered is to stop. Stop trying to get something from the narcissist. They are never gonna give you. They're not able to give you. They don't wanna give you. They're just never going to. It's like you know trying to get the colorblind person to see the red three in the green circle for however that test works, right? Like they're never gonna see it. It doesn't matter how many times you say, look, it's right here, it's right here. Okay. You're just gonna be frustrated. Once you go like, oh yeah, they, they can't see it and you stop trying, right? It's a lot more peaceful. All right, number three, and it goes with the, the last two, and that is, it is really crucial that you understand what the narcissist is and who they are. One of the big reasons that I wrote my guide and that I make these videos is because I feel really passionate about helping people understand what narcissism really is. Far too people, far too few people understand it, right? And so that bleeds into and leads us to try to get all these things from the narcissist we can't get because we don't understand who and what they are. They are not normal. They do not think or feel in the same way that you and I do. And it's so important to understand that and to understand how they do operate. 
Because once you get that and we circle back to radical acceptance, right? Then that can allow you to stop trying to get things and start interacting in the relationship in a way that is not intuitive for us. If we have empathy, it doesn't make sense. It's often counterintuitive, but it's much more effective, okay? And again, I go into all of this in depth in my guide. If you are dealing with a narcissist in your life and you are really struggling with that, I really encourage you, please go check out the guide. Um, it is really helpful. I've had a lot of people tell me like how helpful the information is. So please go check that out. It's on my website. The link to that is down in the, in the, in the description of this video. Down below, you can find the link to my website and to that guide. Um, you can also find out more about me on my website. As always, if you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a like. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments section. Please hit me up with a comment and please share this video. If you found it helpful, somebody else will as well. All right, guys, take care.